Welcome everybody. I, uh, in this video, I will talk about um, a deception shot very close to the net, where you are in an attacking position. You have the ability to go for the winner, but in, uh, in this case, we will uh, we'll add a deception, so the opponent on the other side will lose a step, lose the balance. Maybe it will be a winner very close to the net, but the, the most important thing is to have my opponent to lose balance, to lose a step, and maybe hitting the next one very, very close to the floor and giving me the opportunity to attack on the next one. Okay, so we come to the net with a lot of speed. We have the racket up high, the side to the net. We have the forehand grip in, uh, in position so we can rotate to add the power. Instead of doing the heart attack, when we approach the shuttle, we loosen our fingers and then pull your arm a little bit down like this. And as you can see, the racket head goes backwards. So instead of hitting it in front of us, we pull back, loose fingers, change the angle on the wrist a little bit backwards, this position, and then we hit the shuttle like this. When we hit the shuttle, it's very important you are totally relaxed in your arm, your wrist, and your fingers, okay? When we hit it, pull back just a little bit like this, so it's a very smooth movement because we want it to go very, very close to the edge of the net. Especially if we come with a lot of speed, it's very tricky for us to stop the movement and to stop the, the speed in our body. So, Train it where you stand still, but also train it where you come with a lot of speed towards the net. It's okay if the shuttle goes a little bit upwards because when it goes a little bit upwards we can get it to get very steep down close to the net. If I hit it straight on it will go further into the court and it will be easier for my opponent to reach it around the service line. So if you can get it just a little bit up in the air and then steep down very close to the net it will be very tricky for the opponents but it's of course very tricky to do so um, really try focusing on this if you can master that, that would be really great. So about the grip, you come up here with the forehand grip. When you pull your arm down, the wrist goes back and you change the grip a little bit towards the hammer grip. You can see I'm changing my grip this way so I can get a clean hit on the shuttle with this movement. Very relaxed, very smooth, loose fingers and loose arm. The most important thing in this deception, in, in most deceptions, is to, of course, trick your opponent a little bit. In some cases, it can be a winner, but think of it like you are getting them out of balance. They need to lose a step, they need to work harder in their legs, and they need to reach the shuttle at a lower position. Thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you liked it. And uh, hit us a, a comment below. We will answer them as uh, soon as possible. Thanks a lot, and remember to uh, hit that uh, subscribe button so we can get all our content uh, on our YouTube channel. Thanks.